Yeah, just got a new fan today. I have a Reese Armitage. If you haven't seen the Premier's capacitor, it exploded a while back, so I needed a temporary replacement until I got a Litex Telluride, so this is what I got. Yeah, I thought it looked cooler than the rest of the fans. I mean, they did have Sailor Bass, it's just, yeah, I wanted to have a cool fan. I don't know, we're gonna show it once with the light on, because... It might just be kind of a little bit of a waste of time. No, it's coming from the garage downstairs. The fan isn't actually humming. Oh yeah, and it came with a bent blade when I installed it. Well, it's brand new too, so. Can't wait to tell. Well, because the fan's brand new too, so yeah. Yeah, they pull chains on Harbor Breeze. Medium speed's really slow. It's kind of like the low speed on my canner. Well, yeah, I noticed that it's not bad because the central villain, the in my mom and dad's bedroom, does that too. I'm not sure why it does that though. I think it's just how Breeze invented something weird about the mounting bracket that would just make it tilt on, on purpose. <coughs> yeah, this is like the medium, uh, the low speed on my canner. It's about the same medium. My canner was there and my mini was there. I will be rehanging the mini portable, but I'm not sure about the canner. Well, the canner wasn't fully hung anyways, it was just the... Mounting bracket and motor housing, just to make it cool. That was, goes to the light. In my opinion, I think it would look better without the thing. I'm gonna look cool, because it's an armitage after all, so, yeah. I wish I got this before September 18th, though. Well, tomorrow's October 21st, anyway. I mean, October 1st, not 21st. Those were the pull chains that came with the fan. I just put some nicer ones on. Well, I put some handmade pull chains on it just to make it look cool. The bent blade's not bad. It's just, you know, something interesting. I do a letter because my dad had to get up here just to do the light. Oh, well, my dad was doing the light. I installed the rest of the fan by myself. But I needed help on the light because I... The screws just were struggling. Oh yeah, this one's just um, a slight tab faster than my Premiere. Just the slightest bit. But yeah, I mean, airflow is pretty nice. I'm interested about that. And the fan isn't really wobbly. That's good. Well, cause, like I said, it does wobble a little bit because that bent blade. But I'm not sure why the blade was even bent in the first place. Oh, yeah, because of course we already know that. Yeah, this is one interesting thing. I do have some harbor breezes over there Grace Bay, Centralville, Sailor Bay, and another Centralville, Barnstable Bay, Sailor Bay, Springfield 2, Mayfield, Ocracoke, and then some Crawford South Beach, and then Encon Casanovas as well. And then the Armitage. I have an example of one with a remote right here. Like, like this, but with a remote receiver on it. Well, you could do that type of thing where you had a remote hugger, but if you got a Harbor Breeze paw tuck it. And they don't make them anymore, sadly. They've been discontinued. But you can still get the Lake Canton, which is basically identical to it. Well, I think they still sell the paw tuck it, just not much anymore. I have a neighbor that got rid of theirs a while back. Which is really sad because those things are awesome. I'm not sure what the replacements are because I haven't been in there for a long time. And they do have a, they still have the original 2006 Hunter Westminster out there. 
I don't know why it was installed outside for some reason. Because they just had other stuff too, but yeah. The next fan I'm going to get is that Litex tie rod, obviously. I was just turning off power. It's this one. I'm going to get this one soon. And that's it for now, fan collectors.